welcome to this week's Monday Minutes. My name is Kelly. And my name is Jesse. This week, we want to give a quick announcement. We want you to join us on Thursday, January 21st at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time for our first Open Source Live. This is a great opportunity to talk with some of our staff and some of our partners that are using open source products like Koha, Aspen, Folio, Coral, and Libkey. That's exciting. I'm going to be there. And you're going to be there. So definitely everyone should come. Yeah, we'll share the link after this. And this week, we're going to show you how to run the actions log in Koha. So whether you're looking for a hold that may have been canceled or a fine that was accrued for a patron's account, this will allow you to go into the tools module and perform that action. Yeah. And something to note, the tools, um, the action logs have changed in 2005. So it's going to look a little different. As Jesse said, the GUI changed. So just the design of it has changed, allowing for instead of a scroll of the modules and a scroll of the actions, you now have checkboxes, which is nice, I guess. And we keep saying action logs, but it also says log viewer. Yes. Okay. Sorry. Yes. Log viewer, action logs mm -hmm. found under the tools. You'll also found, find some modification log links in your borrowers table and also in your, your bibliographic records as well. You know, there's, this is a really powerful tool. There's so many things you can do. I keep thinking of more things that we go in here to look at. If you accidentally deleted a report mm -hmm. Or if you modified a report and can't remember what you changed and you keep getting an error, you know, these are great ways to go back and see um, what was changed because you can look at deletions, modifications, and ads for, for many different things. Now, it's good to, to note, Jesse, is that you do need to have these logs turned on in your system preferences. Yes. So if you do not know if your system preferences are turned on um, to activate these logs, it's good to check under... Koha administration. I'm just going to click the global system preferences because over on the left, it says logs right here. Mm -hmm. And then you can see when things are logged or not logged in your system. It's also important to know by default, your logs will be purged out every 180 days. So we don't store everything forever. If you do want to adjust how long logs are stored, that would be a send us a ticket and we can certainly adjust that cron for you. Absolutely. Okay. So one of the bigger ones that we know a lot of people would like to see maybe some logs about our holds. And we can see that we have the ability to click over to the holds module and run this. However, there's a little bit of a, um, knowledge that you need to know about what information does Koha need to be able to run this log. The one thing that I've just recently learned is in our Koha report library page, there is a nice little grid. And so I'm going to pop over there and show it. This grid actually gives us a cheat sheet on what Koha wants for each field. And I will tell you, sometimes it's difficult to remember what goes in the object field versus what goes in the info field. And this is an awesome cheat sheet to, so you don't have to remember, is it the borrower number? Is it the item number? And, and where does that go? Yep, this is, this is amazing. So shout out to Andrew if he's watching. This is all, he found this, I, I wouldn't, have known this lives here. So under the holds log, we can see we need the reserve ID to be able to get information about the holds. Now you're like, what, how do I get the reserve ID? Well, we created a really easy report because I'm all about creating easy reports to get the information. So I created the report and I said, how to get the reserve ID. If you know the borrower number that has it on hold, then you can run this report and get that reserve ID. How many times have we had a patron say, how comes I did not get this hold? And you can mm -hmm. see if they've canceled it or not. So this is the good example that we are going to show today, how you can put that information up. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to solve all your problems today, Monday Minutes. 
So my report just asked me for the borrower number. I entered the bar number and look at that. I can see the reserve ID is in this report. So now I have all the information that I want to put in the logs to find out about this hold. So the object is where I put the reserve ID, 47. I generally like to see all the actions, but if you are looking for something specific, if this hold was modified, mm -hmm. you could unclick it and then just say, okay, find out if this was modified. But I kind of like the big picture. What do you like, Jesse? I usually look at all because usually you're hunting down a trail so you can see mm -hmm. the whole transaction of what happened. I prefer to look at that too. Okay, perfect. So I'm in the holds module. I did the object, actions all, and then I'm gonna go ahead and submit. And there we go. We can actually see that this hold was created on the 14th and it was modified on the 14th. And the modification actually, it's kind of, you'd have to really look into it, but what happened was this hold was created and then the hold was found on the shelf and triggered and checked in. So now it is of the waiting status. You can see what time that happened and everything. So that's pretty fantastic. This is awesome. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Okay, well, we have a lot more examples that we're going to share in the blog post. I'm using other areas in the action logs, but we thought we'd want to show you the new look of the logs and just give you a couple of tips. And don't forget, we have Open Source Live next week. Um, it's a great opportunity. We're going to do a YouTube Live presentation where we're going to talk about everything open source, everything from Koha to Aspen to LibKey to Coral and Folio. So um, we'll share that link in our blog post, and we hope that you can join us next week. Yeah, definitely. Okay, well, we'll see you next week. See you next week.